Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to do two things on your Galaxy X4 and they are going to be how to go into stock Android recovery or technically Torp recovery or Cloud Mod recovery, whatever you guys have installed on your device and how to enter download mode for using Odin, a program for your from your computer to flash firmware to your S4. So to do this, um, basically what you're going to do is power off your device. So this, this is a Verizon S4 here. We're going to go ahead and power it off. And I'll show you the first one, which is going to be how to get into um, stock Android recovery. So to do stock Android recovery, what you're going to do is you're going to take your volume button on the side, volume up, and you're going to hold it. And then you're going to hold this button down here, your home button. Hold those two. And then the last one you're going to do is you're going to hold your power button. And in the top left corner here, you're going to see a little flash of blue. I see it right there. Now you're going to let go of your power button and keep holding the other two buttons. Um, and it vibrates a couple times here. And it's going to see you see it right there. It says booting to recovery in that little blue. It's very hard to read. It's very small. Just keep holding your buttons down. And you should see this guy. And then now you can let go of your two buttons. And this is your recovery. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. This is your recovery here stock Android recovery and your options are and what you use is you use your volume up and down to scroll and then you use your power button on the other side over here to select um, so the first option you see right up here is uh, reboot to recovery the next option is apply uh, update from ADB and if you have your device hooked to the computer you can actually apply an update through your computer system um, over ADB which is Android, Android debugging bridge and then the next one is apply update from external SD. So if you have it on your SD card, you have an update, you can apply it from there. Next one you have fa uh, wipe data factory reset. Um, this will wipe out the entire phone, return it back to factory stock or factory on whatever ROM you have. Just It just wipes everything out, all your data. Um, you have wipe cache partition, which is something you can do sometimes. You can wipe that out and it'll help. Uh, it'll just help the way your device is running, make it run a little bit quicker. Um, and then you have apply update from cache partition. So if you have an OTA update downloaded, it goes to cache and you can apply it from there. Those are your options on here. You don't really use uh, stock recovery too much. The only thing you really use it for mostly is to uh, do a factory reset. So we're going to go back to reboot system now and go ahead and reboot. Hold your power button over here. And our device is going to go ahead and reboot. So from this point, let me show you guys the other one, and this is how to get into download mode. All right, to enter download mode, we've rebooted from our uh, recovery mode. To enter download mode, you're just going to do the same thing. Power off the device, pull the battery, however you want to do it. doesn't really make any difference. Um, and the reason for download mode, like I said, this is for using a program called Odin, and you can flash firmware through it, but you have to be in download mode for your phone to use Odin. So to do that, your phone's off. Again, we're going to hold our home button. This time, we're going to hold volume down and power okay and it should go to this screen right here which gives you a warning about installing custom OS's or operating systems and says if you want to restart your phone you hit volume down and it cancels and restarts phone or volume up to continue and to get into download mode we need to go volume up to continue and here you go it's now in download mode uh, or downloading mode and you can hook it to Odin and flash over different firmware. Uh, some stuff you may want to pay attention to is this little information right up here on top. I'm not even going to show it to you, it's very hard to read. But it tells you the current state of your system and right now mine says official for um, current st system status and official for current binaries. Um, and it tells you the name of the device uh, and some other little information right through here. Uh, so if you flash a custom image through Odin, it's going to trip these and it's going to say some different information up there. But good information to pay attention to and know what it says in there. Um, so there you go. That's it. If you want to get out of this at this point, you can pull battery or you can, I think, hold the power button for a little bit here and it should power back off. Okay, there we go. It powered off. And then just hold it again and it should power back up. There we go. So there you go, guys. That is how to get into stock Android recovery. Or like I said, if you have a custom recovery installed, you can always access the, the custom recovery the same way. And how to enter download mode for Odin programming. 
there you go hope you guys like this little video on the galaxy s4 and stay tuned more to come and we'll be showing you guys how to root this device and install roms custom recoveries and much much more as always please check me out right up here on top at rootjunkie.com you can follow me right over here on the side at facebook or twitter and uh, that's we will catch you guys next time thanks for watching